A local nonprofit is in need of mentors for at risk youth in our area. Gabrielle Johnson, the CEO and founder of Face to Face Center, joins us to tell us about recruiting. And good morning, Gabrielle. But first, tell us what is it that you all do for at risk youth in the Capital City area? Okay, so first of all, thank you so much for having me this morning. So Face to Face is a nonprofit. We've been around since 2006, and we've been serving Southeast Louisiana for the last 15 years. And so our main program is our mentoring program, and it's called the COPE Project. And so what we do is we connect kids ages 10 to 18 with positive adult role models with mentors. And so basically what the mentors do, they just spend quality time with the kids. Um, just being a listening ear, because we find that a lot of times the, men the kids are more comfortable talking to a mentor than they are their parent. And so we are recruiting mentors. Um, we have a lot of kids that are waiting to be matched. So, uh, and the kids are ages 10 to 18, and the mentors have to be 21 and older. Okay, and I'm sure like COVID-19 has impacted a lot of nonprofits. Has uh, the pandemic impacted your recruiting efforts? If so, tell us how. It did, because at Face to Face, we're so used to getting out in the community. We are strong on outreach and meeting people face to face and directly. So, of course, with COVID, we couldn't do that. So that kind of put a restriction on our recruitment um, efforts. And so, like I said, we have a lot of kids that are waiting to be matched, but we, have been, we haven't been able to recruit enough mentors for the kids. And then as far as recruiting, when, what do you do, what do you say to people who say, I'm a little bit busy, I don't think, but sometimes maybe even just a phone call could help those kids. That's it. It, it's, it doesn't take much time. Yeah, a simple phone call or a text just to see how the kid is doing in school or just see if they need to talk about anything. It doesn't require you much at all, just being a listening ear. So, I mean, anybody can do it. And, and you, you all, no, I'm sorry, go on. And the thing is, you're actually making a difference. Like we see the impact that the mentors are making in the kids' lives. So that alone should make you want to do something. <laughs> and of course, you all do run back background checks on, you know. Oh, whoever. yeah. Okay. We absolutely do, just to make sure that the mentors are safe and suitable for the kids. And then uh, I have a quick question. Well, quick thing. Tell us about the event that you all have coming up next month, where you do all do have a program that's going to honor the mentors and mentees. Yes, so it's called the Rocky Red Gala, and so it's a formal event. It's going to be on December 10th at the Live Cook Alumni Center on, on LSU's campus. And so it's going to be a nice event for the mentors and the mentees, and we're going to recognize them for being a part of the program. And we're also going to have entertainment and a keynote speaker, and it's also our fundraising uh, event for the year, too. So tickets are $27 in advance and $30 at the door. Okay. And you can purchase tickets online. And then just last question is tell us that phone number where people could call if they're interested to uh, sign up as a mentor. So the number is 225-250-5739. Thank you so much, Ms. Gabrielle. You're we'll of course be posting this on our website in case someone missed it and they can sign up. But thank you again for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me.